A man found dead outside of a home on the northeast side of Indianapolis. Police now say he had been shot. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson shows us it isn't the first time police have investigated a homicide at the very same house. Metro police say that body was in a decomposed state in the backyard. Neighbors tell me they're shocked that this has happened twice within two months. It's very scary. Shantez Drain is concerned a dead body was once again found near her northeast side home. You don't know how long it's been there. How did it get there? Police were at this Leland Avenue property on August 29th after a man police identify as Michael Edwards was found shot to death in a pickup truck. Thomas Mason was charged with murder in that case two weeks ago. That's too soon, you know, especially to be at the same house, you know. It's concerning to us. We hurt for the family that's lost a family member of theirs and had to get that knock on the door. But we hurt for the neighbors, too. They have to wake up and look down the street and see these red and blue lights again. The property is owned by a company registered out of New York. Its website says it is an affordable rental home management group. We tried to reach the owner today, but no answer. WRTV found inspectors from Indy's Department of Business and Neighborhood Services have found this property to be in violation at least twice in the last three and a half months for high weeds and grass. The front door had also been kicked in and needed to be boarded up. Records show those complaints were called into the mayor's action line. Neighbors off camera said they feel it's a troubled home that needs to be dealt with. IMPD says its nuisance abatement team is monitoring the location. We want to see a quick resolve be brought to these. So whether it was a vehicle that was out of place, if, if you have doorbell security footage that may have seen something abnormal and may have raised the hair on the back of your neck, please, we urge you to reach out to us directly. On the northeast side, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTB. Rachel also found that that same property owner has been cited for housing violations in Ohio.